Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed your weekend. Had some beneficial rains across the Twin Tiers. And uh, yeah, we're going to take a look back at uh, last month's weather recap. And unfortunately, boy, we, we really could use some more rain. Uh, looking at uh, only about an inch of actual rainfall in the month of September at the Elmira Corning Regional Airport. Normally, we pick up just over three inches, so add two more inches to our rainfall deficit as of the end of last month. Now, temperature wise, most days were above average. Our warmest day 91, coolest uh, morning 36 degrees. Overall, we had uh, temperatures above average by more than four and a half degrees. So a uh, rather warm and dry month for September. At least we started off October with some wet weather, picked up over half an inch on Saturday, closer to an inch in some other locations. Evening showers this evening, otherwise partly cloudy overnight. Mix of sun and clouds for tomorrow. Mild temperatures dry through Friday, but showers a possibility as we go through the weekend. So one storm system moving away, but high pressure over New England will kind of back to the south and west in the coming days. So that's going to keep our weather dry right through mid to late week. Keeping our eye on this cold front, though, that'll bring our next shot of precipitation uh, late Saturday and into Sunday. Uh, looking at those sprinkles and brief showers out there right now, but uh, these will tend to dissipate after sunset this evening and we'll be looking at partly cloudy skies. Temperatures bottoming out in the upper 40s, looking at readings in the low and mid 60s area wide right now. But again, after sunset, these temperatures will drop closer to 50 degrees. 66 right now in Elmira, 62 in Binghamton and 65 in Williamsport. So future track here overnight tonight becoming partly cloudy. Now tomorrow some leftover cloud cover, maybe a sprinkle in a couple spots, but nothing more than that. Uh, we clear our skies out tomorrow night and then as we go into Wednesday, maybe some patchy areas of fog early, but then more sunshine developing through the day. Looks like quite a bit of sunshine for Thursday and Friday as well. Then we have Hurricane Matthew. It's still a category four hurricane approaching Jamaica and Haiti right now with some very powerful winds and storm surge could see some rainfall amounts in Haiti of over 30 inches in spots. All these hurricane warnings in effect in red here sustained winds of 140 miles an hour, and this is what we're expecting a category four hurricane through much of uh, the Caribbean here category three into the Bahamas. And then look what happens here as we go towards the upcoming weekend. Near Saturday, it's going to be approaching the Carolina coast with 105 mile an hour winds. Some of that moisture may eventually have an impact on our weather late Saturday and into Sunday. We'll keep you posted. We forecast 67 today, 68 the unofficial high, 49 tonight, stray shower this evening. Partly sunny tomorrow, 70, our five degree guarantee. First warning seven day forecast showing a beautiful stretch of weather through Friday, and then a question mark over the weekend as we have that cold front moving through and perhaps some moisture from Hurricane Matthew.